want you to take a look at these beautiful designs here where we have a sidebar that's pinned to the side of the layout. And it's a very common trend these days on high-end websites, especially for agencies and studios and e-commerce where they have this sidebar on the left. It's pinned there and it's global across the pages. As you scroll down, it stays there perpetually. Hamburger menu, a button. Sometimes the elements are turned on the side. So they go up vertically on the side. You can use it for banners, for promos, for menus. Lots of cool treatments here. I wanna show you how to make that two ways in Wix Studio. One way is the manual way. The second way I'm gonna provide you with some downloadable presets that you can just drag and drop and they're already there ready for you to go. So let's do that right now. All right, so slick site here. I wanna add that sidebar right here. So click add elements, take a container, throw it in here. And what I'm gonna do is click on advanced CSS grid here in the inspector panel under layout, toggle rows and make the height of this auto. I, it's gonna collapse that element. So the only size that this is gonna get is from the actual size here under advanced sizing. We're gonna make the height 100 VH. So there we go. So now I'm gonna take this container and I want to position pin to the page. And now if I go top and left, I adjust the width to something like 10%. I've got our sidebar pinned to the side of the page. Now it's overlapping the elements so I could take the page and I can make a left padding of like 10% and that's gonna bump the page over, making some room for our sidebar that is now pinned to the side of the page. I can add content there and great, it's working as intended. Problem here is that it's not really a global element because it's just a container that's on this page. I want it to be a part of the header so that it's global across all the pages I want this header to appear. And you can't make a container a global header. So what I'm gonna do is actually just attach this to the header. So I'm gonna undo this, bring it back to just the container that's just sitting on the page. So here we have our container just sitting on the page right here. Position default, it's 100 VH. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna attach it to the header, okay? And now what I can do is I can pin it or dock it top and left. Let's make its width 10%. Now I'm gonna select the header, make sure that its height is fixed, which it is, it looks good. What I'm gonna do now is take the header itself and pin the header, which is gonna be pinned to the page by default. So far, so good. And then we're gonna take our page, add some left padding of 10%. Now we've got our header which is containing this sidebar and it's global. So now to show you how it looks and make it a little more finalized, let's change the color. Let's throw in a vertical menu and then let's also throw in a hamburger icon. So now we got our header, which has this sidebar, which is pinned to the left side of the screen and perpetual across the whole page. And it's also a global element. All right, so that's the manual way of doing it. I'm gonna set this all back to default and I'm going to show you the presets that I provided for you in the description that just makes this even quicker, even easier with some nice designs built in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So we're back to scratch here. Click the link in the description to install the presets into your Wix Studio library, your site library. And once you've done that and accepted that, under your add elements, you can go to assets. And under your libraries, you'll see sidebars, container presets, and there's five of them here each different widths and designs. So I'm just gonna take this first one here and I'm just gonna attach it anywhere here on the page. And what I'm gonna do is dock it top and left. You'll see it's actually docked to the cell, which is its parent. I don't want that. I'm gonna take this and attach it to the header. It's gonna mess with the layout a little bit here. That's okay, we can fix that. Dock it to the top and the left and select the header. Make sure its height is fixed. And then we're gonna pin the header. Make sure our alignment looks good. And then I'm gonna take the page, add some left padding, which is 8% because our sidebar preset is 8% wide. Let's check it out now. So here we have our site with our sidebar preset pinned to the side as a part of the header. This looks fantastic. Let me know what you think.